Hello. <laughs> it is Friday here today and directly off a of cooldown we have once again Matt Shinrai. It's very neck and neck this time around. We have not thrown. Oh, uh, they're currently ranked 2 still. I think we're like apart by like, I don't even know man. Not many points apart here. So if we win this, uh, if essentially secured rank 1 for the season I think. Um, if we don't win this, you know, we haven't secured rank 1 for the season. So we are out of impacts here, so uh, if we want to full clear them, we can't int anymore. But they're one over, so technically, you know, like we've uh, we have one of lenience if we only care about not losing, but obviously we'd care to win. So I'm just hitting you know, whatever is left that's unscouted here, and well, fortunately this guy's already down, so uh, you know I I, I don't have to uh, tunnel vision a run back here. Um, and we can hit whatever the heck is going on here. So for uh, round one here, uh, for starters, you know, uh, I have my Trozit tanking the Zeo. That's like, whenever you have a Zeo on defense, that's the most important part. What is tanking the Zeo SD? So Trozit's fastest here at 213, um, which is faster than Fighter Maya, who's kind of cracked right now, and Montmorency, who is tanking Lydica S3 as well. Uh, I don't think Giga High ER is actually that relevant here, but between um, like Trozit damage sharing and Montmorency is in eight um, damage reduction, right? Twenty percent here. Um, at max, if it's Portunate Blitica with twenty six thousand health that full tens me, I'm taking thirteen thousand damage. In addition to that, I've got Bastion of Lucia Barrier, so I'm not dying. Um, I had Adamant on him initially, because after the initial burst between the uh, Lithica uh, S3 and the Zeo S3, right? You still have Briar coming for your Fighter Maya. Uh, I, I, I took that off just in case between the damage share between this and the Zeo S3 and the Briar S3 damage share hitting both of these that he dies. I think then it could get sketchy, so as long as like these two don't die, I should be okay. It's, my thought process there, but it's just a rocket punch comp at the end of the day. Uh, we've got Fighter Maya here as our DPS because we need something to tank both the Zeo and the Briar, and she does a very good job of that. And I don't think she needs Adamant to do it with this stat line, like 3k, 19k. I could make her even better, but I'm kind of low on gold here, and I need to swap gear back, right? <laughs> so I, I don't think she'll struggle with that. Uh, initially, I had like a crowd comp in. But the thing with Crow is you really want Holy Sack on him. And they have Briar. So Holy Sack doesn't actually do anything. But splitting the aggro up like this makes a lot of sense, I think. Now for round two, I don't know what's going on here, man. Well, they got DDR on his own, which I guess inherently on its own doesn't really sound that good. Um, but technically, DDR can go and then Polidus can go and strip all your immunities. Um, so to combat that, you've always got the beat on for the DDR's S3. But we've also got Infin Infinite Horizon and Hades here. Um, just so we have cleanses afterwards, right? Um, for the slows. It's kind of my thought process here. Um, she's pretty good cycling. She's got like Sage Ball, uh, S2 on her S3. Um, so we're able to cycle around and get decent healing off of um, Rod. Obviously, it's not like ideal or anything, but you know, decent healing off of Rod. And we probably won't press S3. But we'll just cycle our shoe, and even though it's shoe into Foley, I should have plenty of DPS for uh, their Senya. And once Senya is gone, um, they they can't win, right? Right. Like, like, like I don't know, I don't know. I, I have a hard time seeing this losing, right? And obviously got POV on our shoe here, um, because you know, I'm taking Senya S3. That's kind of all there is to it. And then, yeah, yeah. Polidus is dueling into one of these two, so we're not really worried about getting. Are shoot injured that much? Like we'll take injury from Senya S1 like one time, I guess. But outside of that, no concerns. No concerns. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's everything. Let's get it. I suppose. And then yeah, I've got double soul for healing artifacts around too as well. So I'm not too worried. Like the flower guiding light. Okay, draws it. Tanks this. Oh, I resist it. <laughs> okay, so I'm not getting penetrated at all here. Uh, it's only 22k as well. Oh, uh, yes, I took... Okay, so that was 40% of the damage. So I took, like, 
of 4k damage on my Momo. Oh, a good counter. Okay, and now I get S2. Um, Mont Man's are doing a push at all, actually, so this is pretty accurate CR. Uh, anyways, we're gonna focus. Oh, we're just gonna press S2. Look at that, my team is now full health. Incredible. And. Proof of Val. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, one sec, one sec. Let me unpin the Discord. Some... Did you guys see the proof of Valor Zio? <laughs> wait, no. No, no, I'm not. Wait, wait. some insane time. Wait, look at this, look at this. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> sorry. <Wait. laughs> I... I feel bad for uh, laughing, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty so funny when he gets, I mean, when he gets silenced or something. True. Sure, surely he gets uh, what is it, like, eighty yeah, percent? Yeah, man, production? for sure. <laughs> Did someone not read what he does? Uh, look, maybe. Okay. Not, Wait, maybe assault. he's afraid of like zeoing his zeo. Yeah, zero. getting their zeo, zeoed, right? So then they can tank it after he gets silenced by their zeo S three. That sounds stupid. Oh, it's genius. Do, do, Don't question him. Don't question their genius. See, like, like, now his passive wore off. And he gets damage reduction stuff. Yeah, too bad you've hit him like 10 times already. <laughs> but you're safe. It's safe is the thing. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to share. I'm gonna read that bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the voice call still, of course, just in case something pops up that needs input. Um, but as far as this defense goes, I don't think anything needs my input. I mean, their input so far, at least. Okay, I feel that I feel like I'm flaming too hard because I did lose to like one of their defenses last door, right? So like, you know, obviously they got good defenses in here, but I don't think proof of valor Zio is it, man. <laughs> Um, anyways. Heal Momo. Uh, yes, yeah, so you just rocket punch this the rest of the way down. Uh, so see you when that has happened, I suppose. Nice. 16k non crit, not bad. Okay, so. Yeah, is the tuning we thought. But the thing is, so the other thing I was considering, like if this happens with the uh, DDR goes before the pull of this, right? Is that you actually kind of just like. It means they're so slow that you can out tempo them very easily. Essentially. Proof of valor there, okay? Um, I just hold this. Warhorn on the pole of this though is interesting, I guess. But, like, I, I, it's like, I still don't get the... Uh, injury from that. And then I can buff stack my immunity here. So I don't get pushed back either. Oh wait, no, it doesn't get buff stacked. Never mind. I get a barrier though. It does it? Oh, it does get buff start. Because I 15%. Okay, there's a Giga High F Polidus. My like KD's got tagged. Oh, I also 15%ed. So, that's always nice. And then, yeah, we're just gonna be injuring them. And, like, I guess my KD's is getting tagged here, huh? That's not ideal. Wait, that's far from ideal actually. But I have Ice Crystal, so it's okay. And then because they're slow, I cycle. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I kind of forgot that, you know, I could get tagged on my Akades. But I'm just gonna keep cycling my shoe because I get S3 again here this turn. Uh, and then I also heal my Akades. 
Yes. Wait, did I have S3 last turn and I didn't press it? I feel like I did. Anyways, that's gone. He pressed S2 again though, which is kind of scary. But the thing is, he's about to press S3 again. <laughs> And, uh, as you can see from the last one, I uh, didn't really do anything. Like, like, it just serves to cycle me. Obviously, I'm taking a lot from the fixed damage, though. Like, my Kade is getting tagged is definitely far from ideal. But, again, you just cycle the shoe. Claim your free win. Okay, uh, okay. The round two was set up to actually be something. But oh, my guy, my guy, Proof of Valor doesn't do anything on Zeo. His DFI S3 is 50% damage reduction already. It doesn't do anything, man. Please understand. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. Onto something else here. Okay, finally got something. I'll set up here, and it looks like we are not throwing today, boys. Let's get it. Um, so we're hitting all uh, this right here, and there's like some info for both rounds, but it's kind of minimal, honestly. Um, uh, I know that this is Arius, this is Elbrus, this is Guiding Light, but I don't know their health value, and I don't really know their speeds at all. But I feel like Poly Gala beats most Senya Candy defenses. Um, and the third being Airwall here, um, just so we have barriers for our Gala. And obviously I haven't changed my builds on the Gala, or the Poly really. Um, so he's just got Warhorn there, Poly fast, effectiveness not really irrele relevant here. And then Airwall, tanky, Perlusha, I've given her her defense gear back from the Fighter Maya. <laughs> um, so she should be tanking everything here probably. Um, if my Polidus is faster than the Pavel, I guess it is kind of annoying because um, what happens is I get knocked out of stealth by the Pavel, but if they resist, that would kind of require them resisting all of my debuffs, I think. Um, for it to be annoying for me to get knocked out of stealth and then die to stuff, but I have arrow so it'd probably be fine because I'd have mitigation, and I can probably tank them a little bit, but I guess Senny would push Candy and then Candy would hit here and then it'd get a little bit awkward. Uh, still good odds, I think, even if that does happen to me at all. Um, but yeah, uh, without knowing the tuning of them exactly, it's, uh, yeah, 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 it's, uh, it should be okay. And then round two, uh, it's Fan Politis, and the Bellion's also the same speed as the Politis, um, so it's kind of awkward, actually, but since they're both, like, as 290 speed Bellion, all you really care about is killing the shoe. So Fan Politis does the shoot, so we know the shoe is the highest attack, and then outside of that, there's not really info outside of the shoe is on POV, um, because they did Poly Genua as their scout, so I'm assuming this just kind of died um, first, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had Poly over here, so not Poly Genuaing it, even though I think Poly Genua is pretty free. I guess I could do Genua over Ravi, but Ravi is just kind of fun. Um, so I don't get a Soul Burn S3 on my Selene, but on 1.5k defense, my S2 does like 11k damage on SUEE, and my S3 does like 11k damage on S3 with no Soul Burn. So you know, assuming it's 1.5k, um, and, um, 25k, I should be able to kill it. Between that and, like, one Ravi S1, probably. I'm on flag. I don't know, dude. I feel like most things are here. Like, look, 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 look. Uh, what's gonna happen is my candy is gonna counter Salvo anyways, turn one, okay? Okay, understood. Oh, but yeah, it's just pure Lucia candy, so we can bust that there, right? So she doesn't get pushed back and slowed for... Ever. Oh, that's better. Oh, they're the speed I expected though. Um, slowing the Pavel is actually kind of good because his damage scales off of speed. I'm assuming what they're going for here though is to attack buff the candy. Yeah, I don't kill there, but that's not unexpected for me. And then I can kill here. Put a barrier up. Maybe kill. Yeah, we killed. Nice. And then that died. And then this died. 
Okay, very good, very good. Oh, the Bellion's faster. Wow, oh, e. 16k Bellion. Wait, hopefully it doesn't break my Ravi's barrier. What, good counter? Good counter? Bro, it's like I'm playing RTA. Wait, the pole is his highest attack? Uh oh. That's unexpected. Um, uh, huh. You know. Maybe I should have seen that one coming. Oh, okay. Good thing I brought candy. Um. Wait. Shit. That's actually really bad, though. Can I get a counter attack, please? Can I get a counter attack, please? I think I'm dead here. Can I get a counter attack, please? Okay, wait. I think Fire Revy got me, though. Oh, it went into the Selene. If this misses, I'm really chilling. It did not miss, but it missed crit. So I'm kind of chilling still. Um, can I get a counter attack, please? Okay. Um, huh. Uh, do I S1 or S3 here? No, S1. Because she's going to S1 me, and then I get CR push. Okay, not even remotely close. Um, <clears throat> huh. I should have really considered that. That makes a lot of sense, though. I got baited by the fan going onto the Shu. But yeah, Shu doesn't have much attack to begin with, does she? Okay, good thing I brought Fire Abbey. I was gonna do a fucking pirate flan to troll. Um, but luckily, <laughs> Fire Abbey's broken, okay? Goddamn. Okay, I almost got baited. <laughs> but, uh, you know, too powerful, too powerful of a unit, Fire Abbey is. And also, counter attack's a good set. Um, I kind of got bailed out a little bit slightly there. I deserve it though, trust me, I earned it. Okay? Okay. Okay, last attack here, and I'm almost on the second to last attack of the war. Well, no way. So, we've already won, right? So, pressure is kind of off. But, you know, I, I still almost inted, and I'd rather not almost int again here, so let's do our best. So, for round one, I'm out speeding. I am faster. That is me. I am him. Um, So, I've got my Politus on Unseen Observer, right? So, I can... Um, soul burn, get 10 souls back after I soul burn push back from the book on my Tomoka. Uh, my Tomoka is on the tag boots now. She's normally just like 270 something speed on speed boot, right? But uh, our goal here is to soul burn push her back, have Gala S3 kill the Senya, and have Tomoka soul burn kill the Polidus all before you know she takes her turn because they're relatively slow and they get pushed back and I'm slowed and they're sped up, yada yada yada. And then Genoa can't kill my Gala because my Gala is on this artifact, right? So then I get the barrier for his initial hit, and then I uh, tank the other hits, and then it's like kind of being chilling, probably. I don't think he can... Even if he kills Gala, can he kill everything? Probably not, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's good odds, good odds. And then round two here, it's like slow builds here and here. Um, so I kind of don't really... I was unlocked for a bit, but I guess I just make my Elena slower, is what I said. So I just put... HP boots on her, so she's slower than the Ran. Um, since the Ran isn't that fast, um, I'm putting Ice Crystal on her, right? So, because I don't need, like, Tome to cut anything or anything, right? Like, at the speed, I should be cutting the candy, no problem. And I've got Errol to tank the shoe, LCB to one-tap the candy, and then it's Silver Rain Ran, so I'm not really scared about his damage at all, surely. Um, I guess some stuff could go wrong in both the rounds, but... I'm kind of out of brain cells. I should have been in bed like an hour ago. I really need to play E7 World Cup tomorrow, probably. <laughs> uh, let's send it. Yeah, okay. So, push back here. Go here. Thirty-four K mine kills angle. Wait, okay, this one's a bit awkward if it doesn't kill, but I'm pretty sure mine kills. Mine does in fact kill. 
don't know if I proc the Genua here, it's really good. Yeah, okay, it's Giga Free then. Zalikas does nothing. Uh, that does nothing, okay. Uh, hopefully I have the tuning right for the round two. Like, like this... CR's screenshot's a little bit scuffed, man. Okay, it looks like I'm good. Yeah, Sylvia Rain ran. I'm assuming it's Elvis on the landy, because no artifact proc'd for her. And then cleanse. Which also breaks the Rain's skill null, which is good. Snow Crystal on shoe. All within my calculations. Yeah, this Landy's paper. Um, so you definitely kill her first here and be very shocked when it is Holy Sack that didn't proc. But even if it is, I don't think we lose off of it. Okay, no, it's not. And then I want to get speed buff off of Shu because giving her more tempo is really bad. Rand's not on RNL. Stunning him doesn't do anything. He doesn't have buttons, anyways. And then my goal is to kill the Ren here. Oh, good job. She understood the assignment. Oh, I still have Barrier here, so I'm kind of chilling. I'm gonna actually Soul Burn the shoe. What is Ren gonna do to me? Absolutely nothing. Goodbye, Shu. And then Ren should die to this, okay. LCB, kind of broken. Okay, I'm really glad <laughs> the last four versus Shinrai served as a wake-up call for us. <sighs> Man, I, I really wish this war was on Monday though, like I, I was not around for most of it. We're E7 World Cup brained right now. Um, I am falling ranks, I was like rank 20 something when I started doing my attacks, and I am now at rank 40. Um, so yeah, I need to play games, I, I need like... 20 50 points or something obscene like that i might not make it who knows um by the time this video gets uploaded it will already be over though so and eh, we'll just see how it goes anyways thanks for watching goodbye